the notion that you need to look at the market, and you've heard that over and over again, but you know, you have this exciting science. I think the science then needs to be adjusted. So once you've gotten a reality check from people that are interested in your technology, and that's something we did while we were financing, uh, of course. And some of the adjustments you're going to need to do are not going to be things that you can write grant proposals about necessarily. So like we talked to a potential in licensor for our drug lead, and they said, oh, you need to do this, this, and this, and then we might be interested. And that's not something we would write a paper on or write a grant proposal on. And so you, you need to sort of take the science in the direction that it needs to go now to meet the needs of your customer, whoever that is. And then, of course, also you need a strong intellectual property position. So for the business that we're interested in, which is drug discovery and development, intellectual property is what it's all about. And so we need to, that's where we're at right now with the company that we're starting, Avimed, is firming up our intellectual property position. So right now we have uh, three patents that we licensed from Marquette this last summer, and then five issued patents that we're licensing from another company, and that's a done deal. But there's really one important patent that we're working on licensing. So, so we've figured out what the customer needs. We've changed the direction we're going based on what potential pharma licensors are telling us they want. And we're building the intellectual property so that we can protect what they say they're interested in. And it's at that point that we'll try and really build the company and raise money because that's what it's all about. So, so yeah, so go from the science to something you can commercialize by refining it based on the customer and protecting it.